Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy. I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. Uh, we're going to just jump right into the spread. Uh, we'll pull 10 cards and see what's going on for Pisces. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We have the Two of Swords reversed coming out. The High Priestess. We also have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the Eight of Cups in the recent past. And we have the Justice card in the more distant past. Put some, turn some light on here. Okay. In the future is Judgment reversed. We're using the easy to read tarot today. Or no, what's it called? A uh, quick and easy tarot. We have the Page of Swords reversed, representing you. You have the Three of Cups in your environment. We have the Hanged Man in your fears and desires. And the outcome is the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords underneath the bottom of the deck. As the overall energy. So the Queen of Swords uh, I believe represents Pisces today regardless of gender. This card says an emotionally balanced woman she is wise from life's experiences can find humor in most situations no matter how bad. There's been a lot of conflict and sorrow in her life extremely intelligent, analytical mind, logical with a great deal of common sense, natural leadership abilities, will be honest and direct with you. So these are attributes that describe you today, Pisces. There may have been a lot of conflict and sorrow in your life. And uh, if we look at this reading, in the past we have justice, which says take responsibility for your own actions, move forward, contracts, agreements, and legal disputes are resolved in your favor. If you've been wronged, justice is assured. Next to that cup is the Eight of Cups, which says disappointment, dissatisfaction, tired of the current situation, make dramatic, dramatic changes in your life, carry through with plans. So I feel like you've, you've had to move forward from a uh, unfair, unjust situation, regardless of if you had the outcome that you were hoping for. Um, justice does say if you've been wrong, justice is a, if you've been wronged, justice is assured. But when are you, when are you going to receive that justice? Are you going to wait around and uh, hope for the best, or are you going to move forward and discover your own new path? Well, um, there's some cards here suggesting that uh, other people are moving on with their life, celebrating milestones, celebrating successes, while you remain stuck, waiting, hanging on to the past, and... Uh, this is interesting. I don't necessarily feel like this is a negative thing for you, though. Um, you can't stay in this state forever. What I'm seeing with the High Priestess in the current moment is that uh, it's taken you longer to develop inner peace and strength. You've been preoccupied, this card says. Um, it's better for you to... Uh, 
wa sit back and watch while other people are, you know, either repeating mis past mistakes or moving forward without any type of guilt or, or um, regret. And for you to just kind of watch the situation, then for you to react. Um, so people move on at different paces and maybe they had the outcome that you were hoping for. So, um, with this high priestess energy, you're doing the best you can to remain peaceful within. You may have moments where, um, this gets thrown off balance. Um... In the current moment, we also have the Two of Swords reversed, which says, um, take a chance on a new venture, make a decision. Stagnation, a creative or intellectual rut. And we have the Page of Pentacles reversed, which is someone who is um, very overly passive. So, it's almost as if your response to these injustice of the past has created a sense of apathy for you, Pisces. A sense of, well, if, if people are not going to take action for me, then I'm not going to take action for myself. It's not worth it. And, uh... You may be going deeper and deeper within yourself, within your situation, and making uh, statements that are um, working against you in some way, you know? It's almost as if uh, this inner composure that you have, this inner peace, is uh, difficult to maintain. And underneath the surface, we have with the justice reversed, the judgment reversed in the future. It says in the card, anger and revenge. Um, and this is something that you may be experiencing. Because what I'm getting is that the, um, the moral path within the unjust situation wasn't taken um, on your other person's behalf. And um, because of this, this is affecting your reputation. Even though they're the ones that may be not taking the right path that like, is fair for both of you. Um, they've cast judgment, a shadow of judgment over you. And I do feel like um, you've pulled back your energy from a lot of these situations, you've remained silent, you've remained quiet, because you have this belief that if you if you continue to sit and wait around, that justice will come back and serve you at the right time. Well, with the Three of Cups in the middle of the reading, it does say abundance, good harvest, an active period marked by successful relationships. Um, so it does indicate that abundance comes in for you in new forms. Um, so it's almost as if justice is trying to happen for you in new ways, but you're kind of sitting here in the outcome position with your arms crossed here, Pisces, saying, that's not how I wanted it to happen. That's not the way it's supposed to happen. Um... And it's another card of going deeper in within oneself and becoming more and more dissatisfied and apathetic. So on one hand, this could be perceived as negative, this behavior that you're in, Pisces, of, you know, holding on to the past. Um, but it's not an energy of like the four pentacles when we're holding on just for a sense of safety and security. For a lot of you, you're deeply dissatisfied with how life has gone in a certain direction. And uh, 
whenever we get into those deep senses of dissatisfaction and we pull our energy back and go within and become quiet, we get into this hanged man energy, which is in the fears and desires position, that says um, it's a card of contradictions. So um, it's saying do the opposite of what your instincts tell you to do. Put aside any selfish interest. It may be necessary to sacrifice in order to achieve success. Instead of trying to control situations and people, leave them alone. So it is saying leaving these situations alone, Pisces. It's not saying hold on to them with anger and hope that it's going to balance out karmically in some way. But it is a card of contradictions. It's saying, you know, do the opposite of what your instincts tell you to do. But it's also saying sacrifice things. So we could look at this card in a couple different ways. But the way that I'm picking up on it is that you've been, you've been evolving during this situation internally. And whenever we disconnect from things and become dispassionate towards things, we lose our passion we, we're because of disappointment, because things, because of uh, a lack of engagement, uh, because of apathy, that actually creates more silence within us and more inner peace. So this instinct of yours to let things go and to be passive in this situation and to not focus on combating these dynamics is a good instinct you know because it is giving it is kind of disconnecting you from some tumultuous feelings that would have come up from this injustice um but in the future we do have this judgment reversed where someone is trying to um either move forward without considering you or um, not compromising in the situation. And uh, the only justice for you in this dynamic, Pisces, is the abundance that comes into your life from new sources, from new relationships, from new opportunities. And that might be a hard message to hear because here on YouTube, we're look, we're, everybody's looking to click on those videos that say justice is served, you're going to get what you what you deserve in a situation and that's not exempt from this video you will get what you deserve from this situation but I would be you know making things up out of thin air if I said it was coming from your situation resolving itself in some way I just don't see it that way we start off the reading with a stagnancy card the two of swords reversed We've got two pages here, one representing you, one representing another person, where there's a lack of understanding. They're reversed. There is no beginning that's being worked on because pages talk about new things. We have the justice in the past and we have judgment reversed in the future. So that even in itself shows that something has um, started to balance itself out, but not in the way that you hoped it for, not the judgment that you were looking for. We have the High Priestess and the Hangman, which is very much Pisces energy, even with the Queen of Swords here, saying that you have gone through a lot of conflict and sorrow in your life, and that this is actually, as you detach and become dispassionate, creating more inner peace. Um, the best that you can hope for in this situation is to evolve beyond your past desires and embrace the new abundance that you have in your life. All right, that's what I've got for your reading, Pisces. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.